Hi, hello, I'm Sam Harrison. I read, review and discuss fantasy and science fiction books. Today I have a discussion for you on the reading that I've done in January. So we're going to go through the books that I've read in January, my favourite books, a few stats from Storygraph, and then we're going to talk a little bit about what I'm get, what uh, channel videos went up on the channel and kind of the growth of the channel and stuff like that. So let's dive right into things and let's talk about the books. So first book I read this month was Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I did technically start this in December, um, but I finished it early January. I think the 1st of January actually hung over. Um, I really enjoyed this book. I read it for the first time in 2017. So this was a reread for me. Um, but in 2017, I gave it a three star. And in 2024, I gave it a four star. Um, I think knowing exactly what was going to be in the book when I uh, started reading it made it a much more enjoyable experience. I, I was less surprised by what it wasn't, if that makes sense. Because I wasn't expecting the you know hunger games esque section um and i definitely wasn't expecting it to be most of the book so um mild spoilers there for red rising but i think that honestly that will help you enjoy it more because it did for me next up i read the big boy oh i should i shouldn't have done this in reading order i should have done it in the order that they were on the pile however we're going with it i read either world by robert jordan and um, there is a non-spoiler review on the channel but there's a non-spoiler review for all of these books um well kind of there's a non-spoiler review for this on the channel there's a full spoiler discussion for this on the channel with matt from Basking in the story who i am buddy reading the world of time with um the full spoiler discussion is excellent i had so much fun making it um if you have read the wheel of time then absolutely go back and watch that um full spoiler discussion um i gave this book a four star and i was massively surprised because i thought this would be a proper slog um i was expecting to really struggle through it i was expecting a repetitive description i was expecting purple prose and that is not what i got at all so i'm really happy i read this and i'm genuinely massively excited to read the great hunt which is coming pretty soon on the channel it's in my february tbr after that, I read Empire of Silence by Christopher Rocchio. This was a four star, maybe should have been a three star. Um, this is the first book in the Sun Eater series. I also read another Sun Eater book this month, which I will talk about in a minute. Um, but it was via audiobook, or not physically. Now, um, Empire of Silence is a kind of sci fi. Um, it's like it's quite a personal story um, with quite small stakes um, surrounding this character called Hadrian Marlowe. The entire book is from his perspective, and he tells us at the you know at the beginning he's like, "Oh, I've I've eaten the sun," um, so a lot of it for me didn't work because I was expecting sun eating, and what I got was a lot of like very very personal emotional stuff. All of that was very good, which is why I ended up giving it a four star, I think. And I loved the ending, really, really loved the ending. Um, and I loved the potential in this book. But I think that if I was more honest with myself, I probably would have given this a three star. Next up, I read The Prophet of Adan by Philip Chase. Now, I gave The Prophet of Adan five stars. Um, the first book by Philip Chase, The Way of Adan, was a massive surprise and it was a massive surprise in almost the exact same way that the eye of the world was in that i was expecting not to like him i had unfairly prejudiced philip by it being a butchie author's book um i had also basically i had kind of counted the way of Adan out and thought i wouldn't like it but i bought it kind of to support Philip. And then when I started the channel and I was doing self pub September, I mean, when I say to support Philip, I bought it kind of like a tip jar. Do you know what I mean? Like when you really like, um, somebody's content, if they sell a, a thing, um, I'll often buy it just to be like, you know, thanks for all the great stuff you've made. Um, and then when I did self pub September, I was like, Oh, this is perfect because I don't really have any physical books to show 
during South Pub September. So why don't I read The Way of a Dan? And if I don't like it, then at least I can, you know, show that I'm not just one of those guys who rates everything four and five stars. The problem was I did love it and I gave it four stars. Um, and I gave Prophet of a Dan five stars. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Uh, it's in the review, obviously, which is on the channel. Um, there's a full non-spoiler review there, although it does spoil the setup for the book, which is the ending of Way of a Dan. So you can't watch it without having read Way of a Dan. However, I really love Prophet of a Dan. Um, multiple, multiple surprises. I feel like there were a ton of more POVs added in. Um, I felt like there was, you know, we're in the like, the territory of no bad POVs, um, which is fantastic for, you know, a second novel. I do think Philip spent like 18 years writing it or something mad. Um, so probably why it's good. Um, but also there's no, you know, 18 years could have meant too many cooks in the kitchen or too many, too much time to noodle on it. You know what I mean? Um, this was a really surprising book. I would recommend it to anyone who's into things like, um, Wheel of Time or um, classic fantasy, but I'd also recommend it to people like me who are much more into the modern style of fantasy. So things like Brandon Sanderson or um, I feel like there's some commonality here actually with one of the other books that I've read this month. So with the Empire of the Wolf books, um, really, really rated this one. Um, in any other month, this probably would have been my book of the month and it might still be, but unfortunately... Um, I am currently reading a book which I have not finished, so I can't really give my book of the month. I'll probably do a short on it once I've finished all the books. Um, I can't really give my book of the month simply because uh, I haven't finished the last book and it is in contention. Um, so apologies on that front. Um, yeah, any other any other month, I'm sure I would have given it to Prophet Ivadan. Um, but... The sequel to my number two book of 2023 is the one that I'm currently reading, and it is excellent. Next up, Return of the Griffin by JCM Byrne. So um, this is a superhero sci-fi book. Um, the sequel to Wistful Ascending, which I also read in self-pub September. So the interesting thing about Wistful Ascending was that um, Wistful Ascending was kind of like um in a mixed max of like invincible and deep space nine and lots of influences that i really enjoyed um the thing that i felt about the first book though was that it wasn't it didn't cohere into a um into the kind of story that i wanted so i thought it was very good and i really enjoyed it and i think that the, the primary reason I enjoyed it was because it was very much like the kind of writing that I enjoy. Rohan as a protagonist is, is, is the kind of protagonist I like to read. Um, and uh, I love the sci-fi elements. And then the thing that... Um, I'm sorry, one second. So we were talking about Wistful Ascending and Return of the Griffin. So Wistful Ascending, um, I felt like all the elements were good but I didn't feel like there was a cohesive story. Um, it felt more like a couple of days of window into Rohan's life. That's the big change that JCM Brown has made here for Return of the Griffin, is that he has made this a really cohesive and really interesting story. Um, I liked the whole thing from beginning to end. I thought that while I, I didn't love the new a lot of the new characters as much as I loved the Wistful Ascending crew, there were a lot. There was a lot to like in this book. Um, this book actually takes place on Earth for the majority, um, and is about kind of. Uh, I mean, you can see the giant shark on the cover. I actually didn't see notice that until after I'd started reading the book. I thought it was just a blue cover. Please don't think I'm that stupid. Um, I am. Um, so, basically, the world is being invaded by these gigantic shark kaiju. Um, and Rohan, with his experience of kaiju and also being one of the most powerful heroes that's related to Earth, um, he's kind of called back in to help. Um, and uh, I really, really enjoyed this book. I just finished it the day before yesterday. Um, so I think I finished it on the 31st, maybe the, the morning of the 1st. But 
great book. Um, really looking forward to reading the next one next month. Um, because as I was saying in my 2024 goals, I want to read more sci-fi, I want to read more self-published stuff, and Hybrid Helix is both of those things. Oh, I rated that a four star, by the way. So that and Wistful Ascending, I both gave a four star. Um, if I was being honest with myself again, I think maybe Wistful Ascending would have been a three and a half, three. Um, but I'd rounded it up to four based on kind of my total enjoyment factor. Um, final book of the month. I've actually missed one out. Um, I listened to The Lesser Devil on Audible because it was free on Audible um, and it saved me having to buy the book on Kindle. Um, the Lesser Devil is the first novella in the Sun Eater series by Christopher Rocchio. And uh, I loved Lesser Devil. I thought it was better than Empire of Silence. Um, Lesser Devil, I thought, was one of the best novellas I've read in ages. And also, the thing that I really liked about Lesser Devil was um, it was a bit more focused. It was a bit, it was a bit more epic. Um, it was more large scale conflict. And, and the other thing is that Lesser Devil gave me some real, gave me the real confidence to move on to um, with the Sun Eater. So when I finished Empire of Silence, I was like, I can see the potential here, but it could very easily not meet that potential. Whereas when I read Lesser Devil, I was like, oh, I can absolutely see how this could be um, some of the best sci-fi I've ever read. Um, because you can see the seeds of it here a lot more clearly, I would say. Um, and you can see maybe more elements at play because um, there's not that much like big large scale action in Empire of Silence. There's not much epic stuff, which there is in The Lesser Devil. So final book of the month. Um, Tyranny of Faith by Richard Swan. So The Tyranny of Faith, I am this far in. So I normally don't like to carry books across from one month to the other. However, the final book is releasing very early February and I want to read it straight away. Um, the Tyranny of Faith is the sequel to The Justice of Kings, which was my number two book of last year. Um, I do feel like this is probably going to beat out Prophet of Adan for book of the month. However, genuinely don't know yet um, because it could all go downhill in this last kind of... 20 to 30 percent um i'm absolutely loving it weirdly i have listened to almost all of this via audiobook and i've been loving the audiobook i don't know who the audiobook narrator is that's a real real failing of mine um but all i will say is i haven't i can't give this a rating right now but currently it's a five star and it's the books start to lose down to four so a lot of the new kind of Political stuff that's going on is really fantastic. I like being in the city. Um, I was worried that going from the small contained story that I really loved in Justice for Kings to a much bigger, more expansive story in Tyranny of Faith would mean that I lost um, that spark that I loved in the first book. But it absolutely hasn't happened. Um, I absolutely uh, love this book. And um, yeah, just massively recommend it um so far it could shit the bed as we've discussed next month um i will be reading a load of books that are in my february tbr um there'll be a post on the channel today with like a little graphic that tells you all of those things um and i think that my plan is to read golden sun by pierce brown the second book in the uh, red rising series next because i'm looking for a quick read and i'm looking for a sci-fi read and that kind of fulfills both camps and um, there's also uh, the audiobook was free on audible at the moment so uh, it's kind of like two birds one stone you know so i've got the physical i've got the kindle and i have the audiobook now so um, that makes it much more convenient for me as a booktuber reading stats let's have a look so this month i read um five books one novella and i've got a sixth book in uh, i will finish it today so i've got a six books i'll finish today um that is currently let's have a look so 2851 pages which is pretty cool um all that seems to be missing uh, seems to be missing something. So I'll have to have a look. Storycraft seems to be quite unreliable for me. Weird. Anyway, 
Um, 100% of those books were fiction. Um, four of those books were sci-fi. Um, no, sorry, four of those books were tagged as fantasy. Four, three were tagged as science fiction. So one must be tagged as both. Um, one was tagged as dystopian and one was tagged as a short story. And it's more of a novella than a short story, really, I would say. Um, I read all of these books physically, although with Empire of Silence, Tyranny of Faith and The Lesser Devil, I listened to the audiobooks. Um, so that was an expensive audible month for me. Um, let's have a look. So that's everything in terms of the stats. Um, let's actually talk other stats. Let's talk video stats. So in January, we gained 110 subscribers, which is insane. Um, last month, I gained 80 something, 82. And I was like, oh, if I can get 100 subscribers in January, when that will be amazing. Because I'd heard that January was a very slow uh, growth month on YouTube. So I was like, oh, it's not going to be it's not going to be massive um but we actually ended up gaining like i said um 110 subscribers which is more than i'd ever thought was going to happen this early stage so um thanks so much everyone who is subscribing um we put out 23 videos two shorts and four posts um let's have a look I've got more views than ever um we've got 6.3 thousand views in january which is incredible and that's yeah it says here 2.9k more than the last month which is mad um so let's have a look so 519 likes 400 shares 155 comments um if you are looking for uh ways to help the channel the best way is to share like comment honestly um and let's have a look at the best video of the month. Well, I think it's quite obvious what the best video of the month is. It's going to be my Kindle Scribe review. So um, that got 1.1 thousand views. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I've been wanting to review the Scribe for a while. Um, ever since I bought it, assuming I'd hate it, and then genuinely kind of fell in love with it. Um, so... I figured, like, if you guys, uh, I don't know, I just kind of figured you'd love it, uh, love to read it. So uh, read it, watch it, and, and see my opinion, because it's, I don't think there's many opinions from people like myself. There's a lot of people who are like, I'm a big notes taker, so here's why I love this thing. And there are a lot of people who are like, I'm a big reader, so here's why I don't think it's that great. But for me, who is kind of a mix of both and works in a creative field, I, I found it's very, very, very useful to me it's a real big part of my workflow also um yeah so other another video that went that was really good was my quick short on ultimate spider-man uh number one and the new old spider-man comic from uh jonathan hickman um really really excited about that comic series i don't think i'll review many more upcoming but i was thinking about reviewing supergirl woman of tomorrow now that um millie alcock has been cast as supergirl so um if you're interested in that please let me know um i'll to be fair i'm kind of doing it for myself anyway not for the audience um i do like to do stuff for you guys if you want it but if you're like we're not interested i'm still kind of gonna make that video um so uh, I will probably do that at some point in the near future. I just really love um, Tom King as an, as an author, as a writer, and um, I like the character of Supergirl, and it's kind of a really cool sci-fi take on True Grit. So if anyone's interested in reading that along with me, it's only eight issues, and it's all on Kindle for like £11 or something for the whole thing. So um, absolutely massively worth watching. Watching? Reading. Anyway... I think it's probably time to wrap this video up because we've talked about everything that we're going to talk about. Um, just to let you know, as I said before, Golden Sun will be the next book that I read. After Golden Sun, it will be a fantasy, um, but I haven't decided what fantasy yet. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you on Monday.